Hi, we are picking up in a series of videos I'm doing on Iron Speed Designer and we've covered a lot of material up to this point where now I am going through each element of the Iron Speed menu and talking about the functionality that uh, we can access there as we're designing and tuning our applications. For this video, I'm going to restrict the scope to the databases menu, and we're going to talk about uh, what we can do here with this database menu and why it's important. Um, a lot of times, uh, the applications we generate aren't just going to stay the way they are. Um, invariably, some type of change is going to happen in the database, and we need to be able to take our application and notify it of the changes, and and maybe even uh, take some more action on top of that to make the change work within our system. Um, so going through each of these menu items, I'm briefly going to touch on a few of them and then let you investigate some of the others on your own um, as a personal exercise. But um, when we have generated an application like I have here in previous videos, I've mentioned that this is a SQL Server 2000 application sitting on the pubs database that gets installed by default in the SQL Server 2000 developer install. And um, let's just assume that maybe uh, a DBA has gone into this uh, pubs database and made some changes and and now I need to get my application uh, linked up with those changes in what I call back in sync with the database. IronSpeed has done some nice things for us where um, we have some options. Um, if, uh, if the DBA or whoever, even maybe ourselves perhaps, has gone into the database and they've added new control, or excuse me, new fields in the database, um, our pages aren't, uh, I was going to navigate into the database, but um, I'm going to hold off on that and we're just going to hide this again. If the DBA or, or even us have added new fields um, into the page, our application is going to be ignorant to that. Um, we have a couple of options. One, we can manually um, right click our application and we can insert an HTML row and then we can manually create the controls and then bind them to those new fields in the table. And now that's one approach and sometimes it makes sense to do that. Um, other times maybe we don't have too much customization going on in one of these pages. It makes sense to go over here to the tools menu, fire up the application wizard, and let's say that the changes were made in the pubs table. Simply we can remove this table uh, and when prompted to delete all the pages say yes and then we can add the table back in using the arrows, copy it back over and regenerate our application and IronSpeed will pick up those changes for us and regenerate our form filling in those new fields for us. So it may make sense at times um, to either delete the form entirely or to add, the f add those fields in by hand um, and you'll just have to make that decision on your own. Be very, very careful that you don't have custom code that you are going to lose, though, if you decide to add and remove that entire form completely. So make sure that your documentation is good in that regard. Um, but coming back to this databases menu, um, once we've made the changes in our database, um, we can kick off a series of processes from IronSpeed where we can actually, s if if we want to see what changes were made before we do anything with our application, let's just say we want to be notified of the changes made, we can scan the database for changes. And IronSpeed is going to pop up a notification here telling us um, what changes were made. Um, and if there weren't any changes made, it's going to tell us. If there were changes, it's going to tell us what changes were made in which tables. and. Um, uh, we can choose to copy and save this output or whatever. Um, now in one of the earlier videos I had mentioned that output window. I just closed that um, and I'm just going to jump off topic for a second. Let's say for some reason that I want to see that output again. I can using this view menu. Um, I can go to this view menu, view output, and I can see that notification I was just given. So that's some useful information. but. Scanning all of the database schema for changes allows us to see what has been changed and at that point we can decide how we want to move forward. 
maybe we do want to accept all the changes, but we've decided the changes are big enough where we're actually going to make a backup of our application first before we move forward. Um, at some point, you may wish to accept all the changes, or at some point, you may wish to accept changes only on a per table basis. Um, depending on how you want to move forward, either of these options is going to work well for you. And they work exactly as you'd think, with the exception that they're not going to add new fields for you. Um, through this option here, we can also add new database servers into our application. Um, and if you'll notice, this interface should look fairly familiar. It just dumped us back into the application wizard, which a uh, real powerful tool. Never forget that the application wizard is there. It's your best friend. Uh, maybe we want to do a new custom query that we're actually going to bind a control to. You know, there's a lot of flexibility here in this databases tab. And I think it merits a discussion just on its own in that regard. So um, to summarize, uh, when you do make changes in your database, it's very important to get IronSpeed synced back up with those changes. Um, and, and again, before I were to accept those changes, I might decide right then and there whether or not I want to make a backup copy of my application and how I want to move forward before I accept those changes. And and I would say the same thing before you add or remove a form. I think it's always a good idea to decide, are, are we at a milestone? Do we need to take an application snapshot and uh, save our code just in case something does go wrong? So this databases menu is a real handy menu to be aware of. And, and using it is very straightforward. Um, I wouldn't say there's a whole lot of mystery there. Um, and you know, if you have more questions, definitely feel free to ask on the forums.